Hello everyone. In one of my last videos I showed you how to use icons in a surf table. Today I show you how you can display tooltips for a column but also for the used icons depending on the icon name or the value. The code I'm extending today is from the video where I use the icons. I link you this video here on the top right. Let's take a look at the current program. We have here normal surf table, a icon column and some icons. Today I show you how to set a tooltip to the column header and to the icon itself, depending on the icon name or the value. So let's switch to the edit mode and let's scroll down to the surf table where I created the column object and first I want to set the tooltip of the column header. So I write O cal set tooltips. And here I write the text. This is my icon column. Then activate and run the program. And we see here we have a new tooltip on the column. Okay, next I want to show the tooltip at the icons. And for this, I have to create a new tooltips object. object. So I write here data O tooltips is O solve get functional settings and get tooltips. Next I write O oh, tooltips and here I call the method add tooltip and here I have uh, three parameters first the type and here I write CL solve tooltip C type icon next parameter is the value and here I pass the name of my icon the name of my first icon is icon green light and so I write here icon green light. The third parameter is the tooltip. And here I write the tooltip text. And I write here cheap because the green icon is uh, below 500 and this is a cheap flight. So we have set the tooltip for the green icon and we need this code block two more times for the yellow and the red icon. And I only change here the the name of my 
icon and the tooltip text. So yellow is for me moderate and red is expensive. So let's pretty print and activate the code and let's run the program. And we see now we have a tooltip for the different icons. So cheap for green, expensive for red and moderate for yellow. And so you can use a description for each icon for a better understanding, for example. Yes, that was it already. If you liked the video, I would be happy if you give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel too. Feel free to leave me a few comments, I'm always happy to read them. I hope to see you again in one of my next videos. Thank you and see you soon.